Using OBS to record Second Life. I'm going to show you how I use OBS to screen record Second Life. OBS software is free to download and use. This applies to using OBS on a Windows 11 desktop machine and using a NVIDIA graphics card. You can customize the layout so what you see when you first install it may be different than how you see my interface here. After it is installed, you will need to set up what to record. Do this by pressing the plus symbol under scene to add a new scene. Name it anything you want. Then you need to add a source. There are two choices here that will work to capture Second Life, Window Capture or Display Capture. For this tutorial, I have to use Display Capture to show both the Second Life and OBS. Normally, only use Window Capture and select the Second Life viewer you are using. Now we have to go into the settings to configure the recording. Press the Settings button and start with Advanced. Set the process priority to Above Normal. Most of the settings here will be left on the default setting, but make sure color format is NV12. Color space can be either Rexstar 709 or sRGB, but I always use Rex 709. Color range, there are a lot of opinions on this, but I always keep it set to limited. The rest of the settings should be as seen here. Hotkeys. I use F9 and F10 to stop and start the recording, but you can use whatever you want here. Video. This will be most typically set to your monitor size. My main monitor is 2560x1440, which is 2K HD. Always keep base resolution and output resolution the same size. You do not want to downscale. On FPS values, I use 60 FPS. 59.94. This value has no bearing on the FPS you get in your Second Life viewer. If you find you are getting encoder lag when recording, you can try to record at 30 FPS and or record at a lower screen resolution by making Second Life window smaller on your display. Use the set window size in advanced settings in Second Life viewer. Output. Here we want the recording tab. Set the output mode to advanced type is standard. Recording format. Your choice is between MP4 or MKV. Use MKV. If you crash during recording, it won't lose the entire recording. MP4 will. Most editors can work with MKV files, but if not, you can remux to MP4. I'll go over that later. Video encoder. You want to use NVEC, which is your NVIDIA graphics card. I use NVIDIA NVENC HEVC, the IS H265 encoding which is the latest update from H264 encoding. In reality, you really can't see a difference, but it does make slightly smaller file sizes for the same quality. Again, most editors can work with H265 and YouTube accepts H265 video files. Leave the rest in the section on default settings. Encoder setting. You want rate control set to CQP. This means constant quality. Your bit rate will adjust based on what you are recording to keep the quality the same. CQ level. The higher the number, up to 20, the lower the quality. The lower the number, the better the quality. I use 14 on my machine. You really do not want to use anything below 8, 10. Again, you can test by recording in a busy sim and see if you are getting encoder lag. If so, try raising the number a little. The rest of the settings use what I have shown here. The other tabs. Stream in general, I don't need to cover. General leave default, and we are not covering streaming here. When done, hit apply, then OK. When you select window capture and sources, select your viewer in the window, drop down. Select properties. Here you will see again the window in a drop-down, which will be your second light viewer. Capture method. Select Windows 10. Do not use automatic. If you do not want to capture the mouse pointer in your recordings, make sure capture cursor is unchecked. I leave client area checked and force SDR unchecked. Press OK to apply the settings. Bonus tip. Select filters. Select the plus icon 
and select Sharpen. I set Sharpen to 14. This removes the slight soft focus look to Second Life recordings. This number works for 2K monitors. Smaller monitors will need less and 4K monitors may need more. I always keep the stats window open while recording. This lets me see if I am getting any encoder or rendering lag. Select view on the top menu and select stats. You can also monitor the bit rate you are recording at. Static scenes, the bit rate will be rather low. Busy scenes with a lot of movement, you will see bit rates often exceeding 150,000 KBS. This is where setting rate control set to CQP comes in. It adjusts your bit rate to keep the quality of the recording the same. To covert MKV to MP4, use file, Remux recordings. Select your recordings, then select a location for your converted files, then select Remux. This process doesn't take long at all. This concludes how I record in SL using OBS. And yes, this is a robot voice easier for me to type things out than speaking sometimes.